This is the first World Humanitarian Summit we've ever had, and that's a good thing. Um, it gives the chance for states and organizations of all kinds con concerned with humanitarian action to come together and decide what are the most important things in humanitarian action today. So for us at ICRC, it's a real opportunity to hear people frame the important issues of the day, whether it's the number of IDPs, whether it's the way we finance humanitarian action, all sorts of key issues. There have been criticisms of the World Humanitarian Summit, the way it's being organised, who it includes, how it's consulted. Um, MSF have pulled out at this point. Um, we'll miss MSF at the summit, but I think um, the ICRC wants to be there. We're very keen to listen to people's views at the summit. We're keen to talk to people and tell them our views at the summit. So we're certainly going to be there. We'll have a, a significant delegation and there'll be 200 representatives of the Red Cross Red Crescent movement. We've been very engaged in the Humanitarian Summit um, for the last few years since it was launched and um, we've spent the last year in particular um, commenting on various aspects of the summit and the ideas that are coming through. Um, our, our main concern at the moment is that humanitarian action stays central to the summit. There's a, there's a tendency, I think, to want to um, make a grand, almost developmental agenda around the summit. We're very keen that we don't just concentrate on ending needs, but we focus very hard on meeting people's urgent needs, and that must be a priority. We also need to think carefully about the strong calls for localization at the World Humanitarian Summit. We support localization enormously. We, we are part of a global movement that is deeply localized. But we also realize that in many armed conflicts, which are different to natural disasters, in many armed conflicts, there is a huge and important need for impartial international action as well. And we want to make sure that the discussion on localization is properly nuanced and complementary with international action. A failure at the summit would mean that um, there were insufficient states really interested in committing to ideas and new policies arising from the summit. That would be um, a failure. I think a failure to agree on the big challenges of humanitarian action would be a failure. And that failure would be bad for international law, it would be bad for humanitarian action's credibility in the world. Um, success at the summit is what we want, and success would be um, a widely owned result where all states of all political complexions, a broad range of states, are mobilized and owning new policy agenda, new commitments around cash, around education, around disability, around inclusive humanitarian action, and a new deal for IDPs who are such a priority at the moment for humanitarian action. The ICRC is busy all the time on, on humanitarian policy generally. We, after the World Humanitarian Summit, we're looking very much towards the, the summit in New York on large-scale movements of migrants and refugees. And then in October, we have the very important World um, Summit on cities, Habitat 3, where a new um, urban agenda will be set forth. All these areas keep, keep moving on for us and we keep maintaining um, an awareness and, and critical engagement with these areas of humanitarian policy.